hello hello tam fam this is tamara and in today's video i am doing the bunny hop so welcome to my channel if, if this is your first time visiting if you have been following my channel welcome back so we're just gonna get straight into crafting so we are creating um easter Easter and spring DIYs. So in preparation for the spring season, I decided to make a few DIYs that that's going to go in line with the color scheme. So for this first DIY, I am starting out with, oh, by the way, this is going to be like a revamp, reuse, repurpose, because these are items I have already used in previous DIYs, and I'm just giving them some new life and some new whimsical energy so again here I am taking something that I have already DIY'd and I like to make things with dual purposes so on the flip side I have my Thanksgiving party going on and on the other side this side that I'm doing I'm gonna have my spring party so in initially this round circle is from um, foam board and I had basically the back was spray painted gold and I decided that I wanted that mint green color again that I told you is my color for the spring. So I just added some paint and spray painted that half of the board. So now I'm just trying to freehand how I want my wording to go and I'm going to be writing he has risen and that is to celebrate the resurrection of Jesus Christ. So once I've figured out how to write it, I'm going to take one of these gold chalk pens from the Dollar Tree. And at first I just went over it. Um, and then later on in the video, I decided to add just a little bit pop of something to make it stand out a little bit more. Because I didn't want to have black on my project and then once I've done that I'm going to start to play around with the placement of some florals so you're gonna see me place the florals on and off just trying to figure out how I'm going to have it placed oh I forgot I'm also adding this beautiful cross that I got from the Dollar Tree and this is from their Christmas season so again, that is something that I just popped off of another project I had around the house and just added it there. So I really love to show people how they can use and reuse items and repurpose items to make other things that they need to decorate their homes. I also added a piece of that silver ribbon from the Dollar Tree just to give it a little extra is that just to give it a little extra personality so I apologize for not being in full frame but there I'm just playing around with the placement of my florals and I have some creams and some teals and some peach and of course just a few little sprigs of random oral picks so once I've decided on my placement, I'm then going to hot glue everything together. And then I just took a piece of teal ribbon and hot glued it to the back so that I can hang it. So here's where I'm adding the pieces from the beads just to accentuate the um, the first letters of each of the words. So thank you guys so much for watching this video so far. This video is a part of our bunny hop and it is hosted by my lovely friend Miss Lini of Crafty Lini. If you are not familiar with her channel, please go and check her out. She is absolutely a sweetheart. She is like the most giving person you will ever meet. And I absolutely love and appreciate her and how she has helped me here on my YouTube journey. So in my video, I will link to the next person. 
So this project is done and I absolutely love it. I can put it to stand up or I can hang it and I love how the colors are and how versatile it is. So for the next project, these are two of the outer rims of the Dollar Tree mirrors. So it's one of the small circle mirrors and the largest size that they carry. So all I'm going to do here is glue the small one on top of the larger one. And then I'm going to take it outside and spray paint it to match the color that I want. So my spring colors are going to be like a peachy orange and also this mint green type of color. So what I decided to do was to take the backing from the mirror and add some of this paper from the Dollar Tree. It's in their wedding section, wrapping paper. So I'm just going to cut those out and add them, just glue them into the backing of the Dollar Tree mirror peak. So when I place them back into the circles, you will see the paper shine through. So I'm not using hot glue because I don't want it to be bumpy and lumpy. So I'm using some of this um, speckle that I have. And it's just a glue that you use for tiny um, surfaces. You can use it for jewelry making or when you're doing paper crafting. So I'm just going to use that so that I can get a smooth finish when I glue it down. So once I'm done with that, I'm going to um, freehand some bunny ears and just add that to a uh, cardboard and then add the paper back on top of that. So I haven't spray painted it yet, but you'll see it's spray painted soon. So here are the bunny ears that I freehanded. And I'm going to add that to the wrapping paper. So once I've done that, I'm going to um, hot glue the bunny ears to the back or the top of the smaller circle. I'm going to add back the backing, hot glue the ears to the top or the smaller circle. And then I just added a flower, some um, beads, and this is very versatile. You can use any type of paper you want, any type of embellishments, like you can add anything that you want to this. But I just chose to keep it really simple for my bunny. And I just added some, um, what am I gonna say? Um, I also added a bow but you can hardly see it so I might go back and just kind of zhuzh that up a little bit um, but that is how it came out so now I'm moving on to my next project Okay, so for this next project, um, earlier in the season, well, before the season started, I saw these cute um, Dollar Tree wooden um, frames, bunny frames, and I picked one up, and if I was thinking, because I wasn't planning on doing much for Easter, and but if I was thinking, I would have picked up a few of these, because these are actually a nice size, and they are so versatile. So here I just took one and spray painted it that coral um, 
peachy color that I told you I'm going to be working with for the season and then I took a few pieces of ribbon from the Dollar Tree and your ribbon guys in order to do this you have to use a ribbon that has that wire in it so I'm using one that says I believe it says happy Easter I'm taking this minty teal green type of color piece and I added um, a little piece of that small I think it's like a cream and gray and I'm just taking a piece of my eyelash trim and just trying to tie that as tightly as possible so I tried to cut them make sure that they were the same sizes and guys I'm only using two pieces of each of the ribbon so basically I'm making my bow with six pieces of ribbon very easy to make I am NOT uh, a great bow maker but um, I found that this is the easiest way for my bows to look somewhat cute <laughs> so now I'm just um, pulling it and tugging it to the desired form that I want and then I'm going to hot glue that to the center of the neck of the bunny and once I did this guys I thought I was finished and then I said you know what I want to add a little tag and I also wanted to add some more florals so eventually you'll see me add more florals to it and you'll also see me add a little tag that I hung from the center And I really love how this is turning out so far. So I'm literally taking the scrap piece that my wire cutters came in. <laughs> and it's a nice thick cardboard. So I'm just going to take some more of this wrapping paper that I've been using. And I'm going to um, glue that to the little piece of cardboard and then create like a little tag so I'm just gonna cut it into a tag now I know I've seen the um, oh punch punch they have those punches that you can just pop it in and just punch it but I just decided to go freehand um, I don't own one of those punches but I guess I should invest in one but how often do I use tags not really so this is perfect so there I go making my tag and then I'm going to use a little punch to punch a hole in the middle. Then I'm going to use another piece of the eyelash trim and put it through the loop and just tie it onto the center at the bottom of my bow. And then I just took my, um, I think that's a gold, what is that? And then I just took a marker that looks like it's gold. <laughs> I don't know what the color is, but it looks gold. And I'm just going to write Happy Easter on my tag. And so here is where I thought I was finished yet again. And then my brain went into, okay, it is cute, but it needs a little bit more extra. So I just added some berries and some greenery and some few little floral picks just to kind of highlight it a little bit more. And I actually prefer it this way, even though I could have stopped. I could have stopped, guys, at just a ribbon. I could have stopped at the ribbon and tags, but I just decided to keep going and it's a little bit more fuller and I really like it this way so guys again here I thought I was done at just making the bunny right so then I was just gonna add some wooden blocks to the bottom to make it stand up and then I decided to use a piece again that I told you that I have already done and made a DIY with so this is the square wire frame from the Dollar Tree and I previously made 
a decor piece where I added some bling so I spray painted it silver and added some bling um, gems some large gems around it and I decided that I'm just gonna turn this rabbit into a wreath so I decided now <laughs> to just glue him onto the um, the frame that I just I'm showing you here and I apologize for not showing you a more up-close picture of it but sometimes when I decide to add things and move things and change things I just go because I'm in crafting mode and forget that I'm recording as well <laughs> so um, I also just added some additional florals and a piece of pick to one side and one little blue Easter egg I have not placed them as yet because I'm still in winter decor I have not switched over but don't they look gorgeous look at the beautiful colors again this is something that is so versatile even though this is foam you could use wood if you have wood you could use any type of paint color you want. You could use any type of pattern paper. You could use anything to recreate these items. And I would love to know how you would recreate them. So please make sure, guys, that you are leaving me your comments in the comments comment section. We are giving away a $100 giving uh, away a hundred US dollar um paypal so please make sure that you are watching all of our videos from beginning to end and i hope that you are the winner and i would really love if you would like comment and share my video subscribe to my channel and while you're here just go on and peruse and take a look at some of my other diys and other things that i have going on on my channel and I really appreciate you for watching and thank you again Miss Lini and remember that my video links over to the lovely and fabulous and talented Miss Quirky Kiki <laughs> of Kiki DIY and I'm reminding you that the other friends that are in this hop are loving life's journey deco easy creative by nature simple roots simple living full-time diy mommy and of course crafty Lini. so guys this is a cash giveaway please make sure that you are watching all of our videos commenting on all of our videos so that you can enter to win this fabulous cash prize liking all of our videos and subscribing to all of our channels all of the details and the drawing information, all of the details will be in our description boxes as well as the links to the next channel in the hop. So thank you for hopping on over and now I'm going to send you to hop on over to Kiki of Kiki DIY. This is Tamara of Love My Babies Forever signing off and saying I'll see you on Friday in my next video and I hope as always that you guys are all happy, healthy, safe and and blessed.